The following is going to look at a number of different storyboard layouts, including linear, hierarchical, nonlinear, and combination. So firstly, we're going to look at a linear layout for a storyboard. And in this case, we are laying out our specific slides one directly after another. So this could be in the case of a movie where I have scene one first, and that is directly followed by scene two, which is directly followed by scene three. So in my planning of this movie, I obviously have my beginning, then after my beginning scene, I have my next scene, and so on. And as a planning tool, I could move these around in order to get the correct way I want this movie to flow. So these are all in one linear direction. I don't really have the ability to go backwards in the case of a movie, and it's just one singular flow. The next one we'll look at is a hierarchical layout. Now, these layouts start off with some sort of home page or central location, and then from there, we drop down into a number of other pages. So this could be a website where I have my home page, and then I go to my sub pages. And then these sub pages could directly link to a number of other pages themselves. Now, in this case as well, I do have the ability to return from a sub page back to a home page, hence the arrows that lead back towards the previous pages. So here it's just showing a natural breakdown from a single page to a number of other pages that then again lead to a number of other sub pages known in a hierarchical format. The third type we'll look at is a nonlinear layout. And these linear, uh, nonlinear layouts have no rules at all. So I can have my home page, it can lead to two pages, these pages can lead to other pages that lead back to the original home page, they can also at other times lead to other pages and these other pages can connect to each other. So there's actually no rules following each other. Some pages can connect back to previous pages, some cannot. There's no rules at all in a non-linear layout, hence why it's non-linear. Anything goes. And then the final type of storyboard layout we'll look at is combination, where we can see the principles of all three other types um, displayed in the type of uh, storyboard layout. So firstly, I've got my linear layout, so scene one, two, three, but then at scene three, let's say this was maybe a tutorial for a game or something, it might then break down into options in a hierarchical format. So I've got four ways I could go here, and then perhaps at main page one, there's a way where it loops back to the beginning once again. Maybe it could be an option, or did you learn your tutorial or whatever, and it takes you back to the tutorial once again if you did not fully succeed in it. And then the other pages may continue the hierarchical flow of leading to other pages. So we can see clear elements of a linear layout here, a hierarchical layout here, and a nonlinear layout here, all displayed in the combination layout. So I hope you have a good idea of the four different types of storyboards and creation here. So we have a linear layout that is one directly after another. We have a nonlinear layout which follows no rules at all. A hierarchical layout which starts with a home page and gradually goes to more pages as the sub pages go on and a combination layout such as this presented here, where we can see elements of all the other types of storyboard layouts.